Hola amigos and welcome to Looking at Cards. I am Pedro Boyd, aka Dro, aka Texan Spaniard on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, Texan Spaniard Studios on Coffee and Patreon. And this is my show where I look at trading cards predominantly and sometimes playing cards. And um, today, this week on this show, we are looking at more Joshi Puroresu cards, uh, women's wrestling from Japan cards. Our very first episode, uh, we looked at some, and you know, recently I got some more in, so it's time to look at more Joshi Puroresu cards, and uh, this should be a lot of fun, because uh, I think there's one or two, I don't know who they are, so um, this will be interesting, so here we go. All right, here we go. And oh, the first card up, it's Bison Kimura. Absolute legend from All Japan Women Classic. Not, well, All Japan Women, uh, uh, you know, you know what I mean. All Japan Women, she was part of Jungle Jack, was Pacific Champion, was Tag Team Champion with Aja Kong. Huge legend. And then, oh, Mako Satomura, one of my all time favorites from Gaia, then of course Sendai Girls, and of course, you know, she is, you know, just the the best uh, women's wrestler in the world currently, for a long time, actually, she's been that, so, everyone knows Mako, she's awesome, and we got Bull Nakano, absolute legend, my very favorite women's wrestler of all time, one of my very favorite wrestlers, just period, ever, of all time. Here in the back, we see the younger version of her. Bull Nakano is the best. The best. I was very happy to get this card. Bull Nakano. Who's next? It's Reika Saiki, the daily dose of protein. She is from W1. And her and Hana Kimura actually debuted together. Um... She is an idol, singer, a wrestler, and yeah, she's a bodybuilder, and yeah, she has a lot of funny videos talking about being a daily dose of protein. So, this is Suzu Suzuki. Um, I don't know a ton about her. I haven't seen that much of her work, uh, I believe from Ice Ribbon. Uh, so, there was, a, uh, there was a thing where... You, for you know however much you got like 10 you got however many cards that was a grab bag I don't know who this is I've been racking my brain I cannot figure out who this is but they gave you a grab bag for a certain price and you're guaranteed like an autograph card and some other cards uh, but I mean you didn't know who you're gonna get so yeah I don't I don't know who this is if someone knows let me know because I, I can't figure out that one and this is, of course, Kagutsu you know, uh, from Oedo Tai. Started off in Sendai Girls, but more famous for her time in Stardom. Uh, Kagetsu's awesome, of course. Uh, sadly, has retired recently. It's very cool. That was very cool to get as a grab bag. And Fuka from JD Star and one of the, the founders of uh, Stardom was a trainer forever in Stardom. Uh, it was a very uh, fun, uh, cute wrestler, Fuka. Azumi Azim, uh, from Queen's Quest, part of Stardom, of course. She is still in high school, as we speak. She is a teenager you do not want to mess with because she will kick you and stretch your arms and legs. Look at all that attitude. Don't mess with this teenager. Haruna Akagi from Ice Ribbon. I don't know too much about her either. I haven't seen a ton of Ice Ribbon. I've seen some. I have some on, on DVD-Rs and I just haven't gone through it. So, yeah, maybe one day in the future I'll be like, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Noreo Tateno, uh, part of half of uh, Jumping Bomb Angels. That's what most will know her for, although she had her own singles career afterwards especially LPW uh, yeah she is half of the jumping bomb angels 
don't know why she's holding a basketball there, but. <clears throat> oh, this is Misaki Ohata, I believe. She was the Wave champion for a while, <clears throat> or a few times. Uh, she's had a few different looks, but yeah, this I'm pretty sure this is Mis Misaki Ohata. Uh, uh, Yumiko Hata, of course, another legend. She's been around since the mid-80s. She's still wrestling today. She's still wrestling today. Uh, she's been around forever. Uh, Yumiko Hata. They, it, I felt bad for her because they took forever to actually give her like a singles title push, but they did eventually give it to her. But And this was the autograph card that came in the grab bag. It's Junko Yagi. I know she did some mixed martial arts. Not too much, but she had a, a brief foray into MMA. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and so, let's see. Some recent ones. Oh, Dump Matsumoto. You know, uh, uh, possibly the best uh, heel ever. Such a great monster heel. Would terrorize the crowds. Dump Matsumoto is awesome. Oh, uh, and it's Kumiko Maikawa. I was wanting this card so bad. Uh, I was a big fan of hers. Um, she was around a long time herself. They took forever to give her a push in AJW. Um, yeah, this is an autograph card. It's very exciting. Uh, she had lots of kicks, lots of hateful personality. Had that big rivalry with Momo Nakanishi. And speaking of Momo, it's Momo Watanabe from Stardom. Uh, I think this is from like 2017 or something so she's oh man I don't know how old she is here I think she's 20 now so she's like around 17 or so here something along those lines and uh, Sari because uh, yeah she signed with the WWE recently she's been with you know a gazillion promotions um, recent last year was the Sendai Girls Champion for a bit. And, uh, yeah, I want to get this card because, uh, yeah, you know, it's hard to get the cards for the, the girls after they go, oh, you know, to the WWE and so forth. Because then everyone wants, wants that stuff. But, yeah, those are some recent Joshi Pro cards I got. Um, I got them all from Joshi City. There's a website, they have a shop, they, they have like reviews and profiles and blah blah blah. And they have like a shop and you can buy some cards and you can buy some, you know, magazines and, and picture books and things like that. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's an ex expensive habit, I know. Um, but yeah, uh, and whoever out there, they had a bunch of, uh, there's a girl from Sendai Girls named Manami. And she's, she's I think she's only been around two or three years they had a bunch of autograph cards of hers for really cheap uh, there. And I kept putting off getting them because I was like, okay, I'm going to get one of those soon. But uh, there's like this other stuff I want to get first, you know. And so, yeah, I went to get one and they were all gone. And I was like, what? They were there forever and now they're all gone? Uh, uh. So I missed my chance to get them on me. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit like. And if you haven't, you know subscribe subscribe because you get you know more looking at cards you get uh, the mark almania saturday morning podcast that i do with me amigos james extreme sorno and god of thunder zeus king dark and uh uh yeah you know uh everyone stay safe thanks for watching uh and see you next week when uh we might do something with, you know, uh, we might do a part one of a two-parter that has to do with shooting hoops. See you next week. Adios.